Lots to talk about, but let's start with what on earth is going on in our charities, mm. Kevin. Um, because yesterday, of course, we had the... I mean, we were talking about this yesterday, yep. weren't we? That the boss of Oxfam had come out uh, in the last couple of days mm. to try and put everything mm. right and then actually stuck a big foot in it. He did, particularly with his work. Look at Oxfam, how could you criticise that we haven't been killing babies? Terrible. Well, that might be true, but nevertheless, the sexual exploitation of women you're supposed to be helping, particularly when some of them are said to be young women, and there is a suggestion they were paid and taken to this... Uh, sex party for want of a better mm -hmm. term and then we're wearing oxfam t-shirts uh it's just appalling now we see save the children justin forsyth used to work for gordon brown he, he always seemed perfectly respectable whenever you met him mm -hmm. and now accused of inappropriately uh harassing women and this comes the, in the wake the of course of brendan cox, brendan cox. Who, well. and of course he, he worked appalling. with brendan cox he was his chief strategist yeah. wasn't he, he was justin forsyth absolutely chief strategist. so yeah. it becomes very murky again the, 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 somebody said very early in this story Unfortunately, the industry, the charity industry, has attracted people with unhealthy attitudes about sex, underage sex, and there's but more and more evidence that's happening. The, the, the frightening thing to me is, well, it's all disturbing. I mean, Save the Children, a charity set mm. up to help children. Yeah. It's the last place, if any yeah. place, you it's want appalling. people with this kind of behaviour. Yeah. You just don't expect it, you don't want it. But he resigns amidst these allegations from Save the Children, um, goes on to be Deputy Executive Director at UNICEF. I know. I mean, what on earth is going on be that, because that the, decision was made and yeah. then someone didn't pass that information on they're, to the they're leaving children's with, arm of UN? They're leaving with unblemished references. Instead of having references saying, tot, tot, these people shouldn't go near charity again, that it's all being covered up because it's jobs for the boys. Always. It's what always the boys, isn't it? Uh, and that's what's been going this, on. This is what happened at Oxfam. And it's yeah. happened at Save the Children. It's about reputational, yeah. uh, limiting reputational damage. Covering they, 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 they do deal with what they're covering up. Who trust that if you can't trust the UN yeah. to be doing these kind of checks? Well, it, you know, look, the, the UN, and it is a, this is appalling, is like any other organisation. Mm. Uh, it doesn't do the checks properly. Mm. Then it's just worried about its, itself and it tries to cover it up and it deals with it in whatever whatever way it can. I think it will minimise damage to it's itself. More than but you're, that. But it's, you're right, it's, it's, we, we, it's, it's you more expect more it's, from charities. Charities it's have a, to be better than this. Yes. So there's an arrogance and the contempt case. here. An arrogance mm. and contempt doesn't mm. matter. You know, the, the, these people helping, you know, we, can, we know what's best and we'll move mm. this man to another job, mm. just get him out of the way where he's but been. You raise a really disturbing point. Um, Andrew, which is, uh, you know, is there a, there's obviously a reckoning going yeah. on that's now reached the charity yeah. sector, but is there something about the charity sector that's attracted well, the wrong sort of people, whereas worry. we always assumed it attracted the right sort of people? And of course, s many people watching who work in the charity sector will be screaming at their televisions. They have besmirched, you know, yeah, these handful have. of individuals have besmirched the have, reputation of these charity workers. they're working often with disadvantaged girls, disadvantaged young girls. Right way they can exploit Ooh. them and that's it has been happening. No, no, but there's no evidence that the charity sector is somehow worse than other sectors. Mm. It might even still be better yeah. than other sectors. Well, we did but speak it to isn't a former perfect. UN aid yeah. worker, didn't we, last yeah. week on this programme, who yeah. said that he felt there was something about the fact that many aid workers have mm. to put themselves at serious risk away from their families for a long time, mm. um, that they have to often negotiate with very frightening yeah. people, gun lords, mm. warlords, that is a type of person that is not the sort of same sort of person that perhaps volunteers at a local charity shop, and mm. we need to kind of wake up to that. Yeah, and that's frightening. That's right. Well, you have to check who, who comes in. You have to give them counselling throughout. You've got to be mm. careful because they are on the on the front line. If you're in a war zone or somewhere, there's been a, a famine a or an earthquake. It's mm. it's it's absolutely horrific, and it can create huge trauma. But that's not to defend what has no. been going you, on no. in these areas. But, mm. It means you have to deal with it. So no. to go back to that Oxfam story, we know that the place where a lot of these sex party was taking place was known locally as the Whore's House. Known locally as the Whore's House. So it was common knowledge but it and was it was the, not being stopped in, mm. in both uh, haiti and in chad where allegations have been made we know that international peacekeepers the un uh, blue helmets they were accused too of uh, yes. exploiting local okay. women right well oh. we expect better but yeah. sadly or well, let's hope that we don't mm. expect any more allegations i fear, I fear, um, I fear there's more to come but it's clearing out isn't it it's, it's <laughs> rather like it after harvey, it's, harvey it's, it's, it's the time's it's, up me Too yeah, uh, campaign so. has reached the charity yeah, that's sector. That's quite right, actually. It's yeah. years and decades of this, and it's actually better to get it out than you can try and move on. Look yeah. at why it happened, why it was covered up, make sure it doesn't happen again.